What happens to a comedian when you take away their audience? This is a show where comedians perform to a camera alone in a room while the audience watches from an entirely different room. All the comedians will be wearing noise-canceling headphones so they'll have no idea how their set is going. This is 7 Minutes in Purgatory. Are we ready to start the show? Please put your hands together for Mr. Dave Hill! Hi, how are you? I'm incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Things have been kind of messed up at home lately. Which is strange since I live alone. The other day I had one of those days where no matter what I said or did, I just couldn't keep my hands off myself. It's like, what part of I'm not interested don't I understand? I'll buy it that some people were kung fu fighting. But if you expect me to believe that everybody was kung fu fighting, just get the fuck over yourselves. I've been thinking a lot lately about getting married to the fucking night. One of my favorite things to do after sexual intercourse is to jump out from behind the curtain and just start giggling at the naked people. Thank you. Thank you. I work out a lot. Fuck you. <laughs> Was at the airport the other day? Flying somewhere? Anyway, I go to the airport and I walk in and I use that, that you know, the self-service ticket machine there, you know, those kiosks? And I put my credit card in the machine and the machine starts out asking me all these questions. It's like, do you want to check a bag? I'm like, no. And then the machine asked me if I wanted to change seats. I'm like, yeah, that sounds kind of fun. What would you have in mind? And then suddenly from out of nowhere, the machine asked me if I'll be flying with an infant on my lap. And I just thought like, how could I possibly be able to predict that sort of thing ahead of time? I mean, it's like, yeah, if I get on that plane and there ends up being like a real cool baby on that plane and like, one thing leads to another and we hit it off or whatever, then fuck yeah, I'm to be fine with an infant on my lap. Maybe even for the whole flight, I don't even know. But don't expect me to commit to that sort of thing like two hours ahead of time. I know this is a comedy show and you guys came here to laugh tonight. You probably didn't come here to get super fucking horny. But lately, I've been getting into writing erotic short stories. Thank you. And as it turns out, it's just one more thing that I'm pretty fucking sweet at. So in the time that I've left, I wanted to read some of my erotic short stories. And I know fellas out there are like, Dave, hold up a second. I didn't come to Littlefield to get like a major boner in front of everyone. And like, ladies, I can't even predict what's about to happen to downtown real estate right now. But I just ask that everyone be free with your bodies. Don't judge each other. More importantly, don't judge yourselves. Before I begin, just by a show of hands, who's feeling a little bit horny already? All right, good. I, I was hoping it wouldn't be that many. I'd like to start off at zero. All right, erotic short story number 63. Every day, the farm boy admired the fair maiden across the river. One day, he just swam over and boned her. It ruled. Thank you, thank you. Okay, very quickly though, uh, by a uh, show of hands, has anyone come yet? Erotic short story number 92. Welcome to the bone zone. The guard said to the hot chick at the dinosaur skeleton exhibit. She fingered his butt. Thank you. Dave Hill, everybody, let him hear it! 
All right, Dave Hill, how was that for you? It was it was fun. It was it was strange. 